Hi guys! So I finished my workout this morning, went to a cafe, got some work done. I feel super productive and it's been such a good day. Right now I'm gonna make some lunch because I'm gonna head out to get my nails done. I'm super excited because I've been wanting to get these nails for a long time, like since my birthday last year. So I'm really excited. The time has finally come. I finally decided to just like treat myself. It was something that like I couldn't stop thinking about like months down the line. Then I was like, I'm never going to stop thinking about it until I get it done. To say the least, I'm very excited. And let's go ahead and make some lunch for now. I'm just making some rice with pork belly. And these are the super thin slices. So they're really easy to cook. Just add soy sauce. And then I think I need a little bit more. Just to and then some oyster sauce. I'm gonna put half of it in a container because it's too much. This is my lunch and that's all I'm gonna have. And I have to eat quick because I have to take off my gel afterwards and then head to the nail salon. So that's all.
finally home and I wanted to show you guys what I got in the mail because I did get a few things and then I also have like gifts that I haven't opened and then also like some stuff that I got from events so I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys on camera so I purchased these plates from Bloomingdale's by the brand Hudson Park and I really love them this is like a pasta bowl and I'm just like so obsessed with the shape of it and then I also got just a regular bowl I have two of these I already used one and then just regular dinner plates and then I also got like the salad plate so it's just a little bit smaller than this but the same design I really hope I like this because this is the barefoot dreams uh, blanket and I got it in the cream color and I just wanted this because you guys know Luna scratched up my couch and it's so bad but I was using the green blanket for a while that one's from Ralph Lauren and I love the color like I love the forest green and I think it like ties everything together it makes it look so much more cozy but I still wanted to keep that light off-white cream beige color on my couch because I just that's like what I originally wanted and like I want to get a deeper couch but I still haven't like seen anything that I'm completely in love with and like a reasonable price also because I'm not going to be in the space for like another year this is like my last year here I'm kind of like unsure but I wanted to just get this blanket just to put over because I feel like it just needs like a cover and I want it to be like lighter and brighter and so I think that this was like perfect for that so yeah finally got the blanket everyone has been raving about it and like I just finally got it and then the last thing I got was this Montauk robe and I've been wanting a robe for a long time I used to use a Victoria's Secret like like silk robe and I actually really loved it but sometimes when I get out of the shower like I just want to keep my towel on but then it always falls and so I was like what could I get that would be the equivalent of a towel and I was like duh a robe like <laughs> that's what they're for Montauk had a lot of them a lot of different ones and so this one is, I think I got cotton, yeah. So this one is 100% cotton. It's called the Milagro Rope in small. Yeah, I'm super excited for this because I have been, I've been wanting one like forever. I do want to get my initials on it, like embroidered. So I'm going to try to find a place in downtown and get that done. It just feels so cozy and it's not like the thickest one that they had available, but I also didn't want the thickest one because 
I didn't want it to be super heavy when I was using it. Kind of got something that was like in the middle. They also had some that were like the waffle knit ones, but I didn't really like the waffle print. And then I went to an event at the one hotel. So they gifted us some things. Okay, so the hotel actually gifted us dietary supplements, which I love diet stuff. So the brand is called Higher Dose and it's called the Chill Chews. I don't know what's in here bath salts in here and then this is basically like a bath set i think body lotion body wash and nighttime pillow mist so these are all great for sleeping and this is a brand that's in the one hotel um, spa area nyesco was the brand that sponsored the event because their products are also there um this is these are sheet masks i believe so it comes with details there and then these are the eye mask one of the eye masks and then this is face mask so you have the top and then the bottom i think they said you can use it like twice in 24 hours i don't remember cool and then also another eye mask and then i also got this as a gift this is the open it. this is the victor and rolf flower bomb so it comes with the body lotion the perfume and then body cream what's the difference so yeah comes like that and then this is a how many ounces is that that's kind of big i don't like having perfumes that are not like my signature scent in like a big size oh 3.4 that's kind of that's really big my best friend got me something for christmas so let's open it it's from montclair the packaging is so pretty oh cute so it comes like this i'm gonna keep the ribbon so i can wear it for fourth of july so funny okay so she got me a little beanie she's hilarious i was <laughs> oh my god this is so cute okay so she got me she got me a luna so she got me a montclair beanie which is so cute yeah i haven't worn a beanie in like ages because i feel like it looks so weird on me and it's not like cold here in la so definitely wear it when i go back to the city in a few weeks i like don't wear beanies like at all initially when i purchased my robe i felt so bad because it was like so expensive but i feel like you only buy one of these really in your lifetime and it's just like a great piece and it was such a good price compared to how much it usually is because bloomingdale's does their like one day home sale so yeah i, I mean like i feel kind of guilty because i feel like you don't actually like need things these things like that's the reason i got my towels because they're so big and like they're so comfortable but i just like feel like lately i've been wanting a robe and like i don't know i feel kind of bad that like i purchased it but i'm like really happy that i have it though i will use this every single day and get a lot of use out of it so that's what matters that was everything that i got and things that i've purchased in the past few days i hope you guys liked it let's continue with the video okay. hi guys good morning so i just got home from Legree and I actually did not like the instructor today it was like a bunch of techno music and then there would be times where like the class would just be like dead silent and then the girl next to me like I don't mind beginners in Legree but like I feel like they should have a designated area because that girl was on something and she was like not doing things right and he just kept saying like slow down slow down and she like wasn't listening and it's like at least try like that's my thing. at least try like my first time at Legree I sucked but I wasn't like out of tempo anybody can try it and like it's a challenge but it's just a little frustrating i much prefer not to be next to beginners so when i go to class like i prefer to choose a spot where like i've seen someone that has taken the class before or i will just take an empty spot but then she ended up filling it up like because she came late so my skin looks like super glowy today wow it looks really good but maybe that's just from sweat <laughs> i'm gonna make an onigiri so i'm gonna make my rice right now and then i already have tuna and I'll get ready and everything because today is gonna be pretty chill. It's Sunday. Let's go ahead and make some rice I also got flowers yesterday. I also got some items from Sephora yesterday I got this cucumber mask and then I got the summer Fridays and this was an online order So I purchased the way detoxing shampoo because I only shampoo my hair like twice a week So I wanted something that would like get a really deep cleanse and I feel like my ginseng Shampoo is just like not cutting it. So I wanted to try this out. I've seen so many good reviews about it also got a new beauty blender you guys know mine is busted crusted musty dusty and then i got this as a sample it's the briogeo revival scalp i remember using this when i lived on the west side and i do remember really liking it but it took a lot of practice to like get used to it so i wanted to try it again because i love like tub 
like things in tubs. I don't know why. This came back in stock. It's the Rare Beauty Positive Light um, Highlighting Concealer. I'm on like a no makeup buy, but I just got this just because it was something that I had wanted already. So I figured once it came back in stock, I would pick it up. And yeah, so it has like the metal applicator. But it's not like something that I was just like on spontaneously was like, okay, let me go buy it. Like, I don't really do that anymore. So yeah, I kind of like to think about things for a little bit. And I am also going to check out a Banana Republic cart right now. And then also a Yes Style cart online. Because I need like new clothes for like spring, summer. And these are items that I know I'm going to have like for a while. So yeah, otherwise I wouldn't recommend to like shop fast fashion. Like I feel like Yes Style is fast fashion. But the items that I have from Yes Style, I wear so many times. And I get like my cost per wear from them, which is why I love it. And then I also got, you guys saw, I got this case from Amazon. This is so cute. I want to get the newer AirPods Pro, but these are fine for now. I might get the next one that they come out with, which is whenever. Oh, I did a face mask on Jazzy, like little facial, mini facial. Anyway, let's make some rice. I'm going to put this, all this stuff over here. I made eggs this morning, but they are definitely like soft boiled eggs, <laughs> like super soft. So I kind of want to make Jekyll Pop, but I feel like that's not like right to have in onigiri. So I'm just going to make white rice. Also, the flowers are like getting old, so they're turning brown. <laughs> I think they've been there for a week already. Or actually, hold on, let me see. What? Oh no. It hasn't even been a week yet. Oh, it has. I got them last Friday. Yeah, they're kind of like getting old and I'm like, ugh. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually throw away the flowers. I threw away the box for my red ones and the white box and I wish I didn't do that because I can like just buy roses and stuff and flowers and just do my own arrangement. But it's so much better when you don't have to do any work and you can just leave them sitting there. Let's go ahead and get ready. My mom's gonna come. She wants to go for brunch, but I'm honestly not really hungry and I've been doing really good with my dieting and my um, workouts. I might have time to work out later if Jazzy's okay with being alone for like 30 minutes. I want to work out before I go out for drinks because my mom's gonna pick her up. She's gonna pick her up after so we're just spending the day together. She's not like sleeping over or anything and I really like that because I still have like my night <laughs> to myself. Love that for me. Plans changed. I was going to like go to New York this week. I don't know how you guys do like long distance. It's like killing me. I just use a milk primer. I think I'm gonna get Jazzy another one today because she ran out of hers. My makeup has been pretty simple. So I just do like my everyday makeup and it's just very easy like my go-to. How have you guys been? It's not really like a, I guess it is kind of like a get ready with me. I'm gonna place an order on Yes Style and and honestly, you guys, I'm loving hot pink, like, the color. So, I found something that was super cute for, like, winter. No, not winter. <laughs> for, like, spring, summer. I cannot wait for my outfits. So, that'll be really exciting. And I feel so happy because I was able to clean up my space and everything. Like, every time I get dressed for, like, a last-minute, like, dinner or something, I always end up throwing everything all over my apartment. And it's so crazy. Also, I did renew my release for another year but i have to get patio furniture like this month like i'm not even kidding like i told myself like you have to get it i'm gonna get it this month i want to like see some like some of them and i already have a rug that my best friend gave me so i'm gonna put that down and luna's really been liking going outside so i want to deprive her of that finals were honestly insane i literally wanted to cry every single day i don't miss school i hate it but i'm just doing what i have to do a lot of you guys ask me about school too but it's kind of like confidential because i'm doing dual enrollment i almost had a class in malibu ah, i wanted to cry actually i would have been really happy because that's like my happy spot like i love it i don't know why like that's over there it's so annoying I'm not like taking school like too hard just because i want to be able to like have my freedom and have like time to myself but also be able to work because i obviously have to keep a roof over my head so that's like the main priority for me but obviously finishing school is really important to me it's just i need to make sure that like i'm doing really well with time management and then not overworking myself because then i'll get like depressed and crazy and i realize i do get really crazy when i get overstressed we want to keep it to the minimum also this ysl libre perfume it smells good but i don't know it's not like my favorite i don't think i like how that smells on me let's try to finish up this kosas so what do you guys think about like we have another subject <laughs> I didn't mean for this to be like a get ready with me like chit chat but I just want to ask you guys like your opinion because I've seen some posts saying like oh kids are like 13 year old and they're like teenagers or like whatever and 
they have to have Lululemon and like have expensive things to like be popular and stuff. I don't think that's entirely true. I think it's definitely, is someone gonna be like, oh my God, what did you, what makeup did you put on your face today? Like, are they like that? I don't think so. At least my little sister's friends are not like that. There was also a post that was like, who, did she come inside? Yeah, she did. Look, I love how bright it is now because I put the Barefoot Dreams blanket down, but I saw that post and someone was like, oh, who is, who are buying these kids? Like. $80 like drunk elephant drops and like lululemon clothes and stuff and for me It's like oh my god Like if you have it do it not like entirely spoiled kids silly obviously But if I have it for my little sister like I'm gonna do it for her like I want her to be happy I want her to have things that she wants things that she's curious about like if she doesn't like it then like okay Then she just won't get another one like she can choose something else her happiness means so much to me and I feel like I want to like protect her from like the world and like everything, like everything bad. She literally has like my credit card and like a few debit cards like on her Apple Pay. And I tell her like, Jazz, get whatever you want. Like if there's something that you need, like just get it. I feel like I'm so just carefree about that. Actually, not entirely because I thought she, I thought she spent like $500 on a concert ticket, but it was only 300. So I was like, I was freaking out. But half of it was from her like babysitting Luna. And then I just paid for the other half, but that, that freaked me out for sure because <laughs> i was like what are you doing i just want her to be happy like if she's curious about something i want her to be able to like use the item or something or i don't i don't know if that's making sense like i want her to have that experience and like not feel like left out and honestly sure you don't have to keep up with the like the joneses all the time like i don't i definitely don't buy makeup all the time because like i went through that phase already like i bought everything that was trending in like mac makeup like i couldn't afford that obviously i was in foster care like my allowance was like half my age so if i was 15 my allowance was 750 like that's nothing like what i get like one makeup item like a week but then it's like you want snacks you want to go to the store like you want to spend your money on like junk food and stuff and then school school chips and school like pretzels or whatever like yeah there was not a lot of extra especially because my mom my foster mom she was also really young like she didn't have like this extra money to like spend on like the foster youth when she had to have a house full of food every single day and like gas in the car to take us to appointments and everything and like some kids had like appointments all the time like we had therapists psyche like psychiatrists not for me but maybe i should have <laughs> i'm just kidding but and like psychiatrists and like doctor's appointments i had scoliosis i had to go see a specialist like like pediatricians like things like that so there wasn't a lot of extra room as far as i know for my mom to do things like that which like is understandable like i get it now from the outside looking in like i get it now that i'm older it makes total sense to me that like yeah she wouldn't have the funds to do that and means to like help her but like if i have it for my little sister and like i've known her since birth like i'm gonna help her i'm gonna give her whatever she wants and i always ask her too like how are your grades how are you doing because i do that is important to me like i do want to make sure that she's succeeding in school and doing well aside from like everything else and i don't know it just makes me happy knowing that like she can like whatever she's curious about she can like just get it or like i can just order it for her that's the one thing like i know like kids shouldn't always feel like oh they have to fit in or like they have to like that they have to fit in or that they have to like always keep up with what's new and it's like they don't obviously they don't she doesn't get every single thing that she wants but i would say the majority like if there's something that she's really like eyeing or like looking after and she talks about it like more than two or three times and like yeah i'm like okay this is something that she really wants and that she's really interested in so I'll just get it for her but she's also not the type of kid to like ask for things just like outright because she also was raised like we you know we are not made out of money like she knows that like everyone has to work really hard for what they have and stuff and she cleans at home granted she doesn't have the chores that we had when i was little but whatever yeah like her happiness is just so important to me and i would imagine that like if i have kids that would be the most important thing to me like if i can provide that for them and i can give them what makes them happy and like obviously not to the point where they're spoiled like i don't understand if you have the means to do it then like why not if people want to do that for their kids like why not like everyone grows up under different circumstances and like it's just mm, Oh, and so I feel like I don't know like if I have a child I would want them to know that like I will take care of like all of their needs and like whatever like make them happy That's the point of being a parent So that just makes me like even more excited because seeing Jazzy and like her happiness like 
it's everything she's definitely not the type of kid to like complain about anything or like throw a fit and stuff but she's very humble at the same time which is probably why i do the things i do for her because she's just such a good kid otherwise i probably wouldn't i just think it's interesting how people are always like oh my god that's so expensive like i can't afford it blah blah, blah. and like yeah like like i said like i wouldn't buy those things like myself I, I just want her to know that like whatever she needs like i'll take care of it because like i'm here for her i'm her big sister so like what other what other job do I have? I'm not a mother yet. So I think even if I become a mom, like I still want to be there for her, obviously. Because that's just so important to me. Mm, I don't really like the Charlotte Tilbury blush. Going back to the note, it's just more brighter, like much brighter and just looks better in my opinion. I need something similar to this bare minerals invisible glow. I think hourglass has something very similar, so I'm gonna see. But I'm not done with this yet. So like once I'm done with it, I will be on the hunt for something very similar but in my get ready with me like in new york i feel like you could see like how smooth it like blended everything all together and i love that look it was just so beautiful so yeah cannot get something this big on my thumb anymore because i can't open scissors i well i can't like put my finger through the scissors or like luna's nail clippers or my eyelash curler like it's so hard i have to like maneuver it a certain way i mean it's so pretty but not realistic but i'm excited for my next set already i already have the design i'm so excited oh so my lash lift is actually growing out so fast because i'm using grande lash and it's getting a little weird ah oh, why do i always do that I think I have to get another lash lift, but I don't know how often you're able to get them, like per month or something. Like, or like, I don't know if it's only recommended like quarterly, but my lashes are just growing way too fast and I love it. But also, like, I need the curl to be looking good and it's not. So I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm going to um, curl it after. And then this is Laura Mercier crayon in metallic taupe. Hi guys, so I finished filming and I finished Awakening, which is the K-drama that I was watching. It was literally so boring in the beginning, but then I really liked it, like towards the middle and the end was really good. You gotta like get through that part first. I wanted to show you guys what I'm making for dinner. I'm making onigiri. I have these here and this is the brand that I use. I've made this before. I was like on an onigiri kick when I first came back home. I'm gonna be heading back to the city shortly. Also, also I got these flowers and they're so beautiful. I need to put them in a vase tonight because I did not put them in one yesterday and they need water, so yeah, I just need to like cut it. And then it also like has, this is what it looks like, but I love pink roses. So yeah, they're from floral number five. Anyway, let's make the onigiri because I am so hungry right now. I'm just mixing the tuna with mayo and sriracha. I like it with a lot of mayo, so this is not low calorie friendly. <laughs> Sorry guys. Here. Mold, so. Or you could also just do it yourself, but I don't mind using the mold. The first time I did it, I did it without it and it was still pretty good. Okay, and then you have it like this. Transfer this here. And then, like so. Okay, let's make another one. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm gonna make another one and leave that one in the fridge because I'll have it tomorrow for lunch. This is actually so much fun and you guys can like make a few of them and there are so many different ones that you can make i just have tuna you can make like beef i'll probably make beef later in the week and you can just make it and then save it for lunch the next day and i normally don't have time for lunch really like after my workouts i just kind of like want to get home and then shower and then start working so this is so good should i go to the gym right now i think i should i'm gonna hop on and then go This one's kind of loose though. How cool. This is so fun. Oh, which one was the one that had a lot? I think it's this one. Okay. 
Let me go ahead. You guys can also make this with aluminum foil and like washi tape, but I don't have washi tape, so. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show you guys the tuna that I use. It's this one. And I really like it. It's low in calorie. It's 1.5 serving and 150 calories. You can also use like American tuna, but I don't like like American tuna, so. Yeah, just wanted to mention that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the arrangement. I'm, okay, I need to stop messing with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. Looks way better, shorter. Whatever, that's the best thing to get. Take it with them. 